ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂಧುಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗ್ಲಂಹೈತಗಿರ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದಂ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನ ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತ್ತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂಥ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಂತಿಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ವದಂತಿ ತತ್ತತ್ವೀದ ಸತ್ತ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ 
ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान इति शब्द थे बदंती तत्तत्वीदम सत्यम यद ज्ञानम अध्ययम ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान इति शब्द थे गौरीय गोष्ठीपति सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को समीठ अगर पहुँचाद परमंग से जगतगुरु टोल so long as mayabad bichar is there in this on this earth till then we cannot preach shuddha bhakti properly gauriya goshti bhakti sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami thakur prabhupad paramahansa jagat guru told so long as mayabad bichar is there on this earth Till then, the preaching of sadhu, sudha bhakti cannot be done properly. Big problem. Prabhupada many times used to express some grief that at present those who are mayavadi they are going to join Vaishnav society. Many times Prabhupada told. The time from when all Mayavadis, in the guise of Vaishnav, started entering in our bhajan field, from then big problem arising. The time from when all Mayavadis, those who are going to enter into our Vaishnav society in the guise of Vaishnav, from then. There is a big problem started. Big problem started arising. Mayabad mean actually, basically I told many time. Basically, Mayabad means that no belief in Guru, Vishnu, Bhagavan, Dham, Nam. They have no belief in it. Same thing happen, you see. Maybe Tilak Mala, everything there. But what Popat Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Krishna Prabhupada told, you just try to check up the situation. You can find one man who has strong belief in Guru Vaishnav Bhagavan. Many times I told that Popat used to say. More or less, we are all contaminated with Mayabad. More or less, we are all contaminated with Mayabad. More or less, maybe more or less, because if there is fifty percent believe in Vaishnav, then another fifty percent disbelieve. If you have ninety percent believe in Guru Vishnu, then ten, ten, ten percent you are going to reserve disbelief. This way we cannot prove that we had. We cannot prove that we have hundred percent faith in Guru Vishnu Bhagwan. Hundred percent we cannot prove. So this way, whole devotional field. I mean Saraswat. We are interested about mainly Saraswat Gauriyo Parivar, all contaminated at present, and there is there is big contradiction. There is big contradiction everywhere, even in our, even. Even in our sampraday, even our own sampraday, even in our own sampraday, you can find different kind of problem. Simply because we have failure to follow Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada. Simply because we are failure to follow Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Goswami. That's why all problem created. At present, we have no right to point out that you are Mayavadi. 
At present, we have no right to speak to those Babaji's that you are Sahajiyas. Because I am Sahajiyas. I myself Sahajiyas, my activities, my Siddhanta Vichar, my character, everything can prove as Sahajiyas. At present, I have no right to chase them. In our own Sampadaya, most of the people, they believe that we have no connection with, say, Madhacharya. Most of the people. They believe we, or those who are going to believe, they have no connection with Madhacharya. Okay, everybody is speaking, we have connection with Madhacharya this much. Mane, they cannot understand their link. They just cannot understand their link, basic link, with Madhacharya. Most of the people, they are foolish. Some of them think we are very educated, personality. So they fight with us that no, we have no connection with Madhacharya. How possible? Only it is uh, Baldev Vidyabhushan, he was originally from Madhacharya group. So he is coming, he wanted to make one bridge, connection with our Gauri society. Otherwise, we have no connection. Otherwise, we have no basic connection with Mother Chajo. This they are, they are speaking in our own Sampadaya. In our own Sampadaya, they are speaking. They cannot understand what kind of connection we have with Mother Chajo. They cannot, they cannot. If you can make survey, you make survey everywhere. I allow you everywhere, all over the world. Even those who are big, big acharya. You can go and make survey. What is the realization about our connection with Mahathacharya? You can see, check up. Why Bhakti Minot Thakur many times told, many times in his writing, speech, those who are going to get entry into our Gauriya Sampadaya, at the same time, those who are going to violate Madhacharya, those who are going to cut connection with Madhacharya, those who are not ready to believe any connection with Madhacharya, they are actually enemy of our Gauriya Sampradaya. Bhakti Mithra told many times you can find. They are actually our enemy. That's enemy, the idiot. You should throw him out. We have our connection with Madhacharya. On the basis of what document? On the basis of what evidence? If you are going to fight that we have no connection with Madhacharya, why? They want to point out one verse from Chaitanya Charitamrita where you can find that Mahaprabhu when in course of his South Indian trip, went to Urupi, they are, they are going to discuss with the, de, with the then time Acharyas. With the then time Acharyas there in the Acharya Urupi, Mahaprabhu, very humble way, and to discuss, I have no idea about Sadha Sadhan Tattva. Could you please teach me? This way, Mahaprabhu asking. And then, the present Acharyas, one or two maybe all, because I heard there is seven, you know, seven personalities, you know, one bench of Acharya, one bench of Acharya, seven, seven and eight, eight, eight bench, eight persons, bench, one bench of Acharyas. Then Mahaprabhu having discussion, but those Acharyas going to misguide Mahaprabhu. They are going to speak. That mukti is their ultimate goal. This is that. They are going to speak soon. Then Mahaprabhu finally wanted to, wanted to discover the fact. Like, like our case. Everybody can claim that we are following Mahaprabhu. Yes or not? 
If I speak to you, you are not falling, you become angry. Everybody can claim. I am following Mahaprabhu. You see, you are tilak, everything. Up. You go to my, we go to Navadip, those Babajis, characterless. That's okay. We are following Mahaprabhu. So who is following Mahaprabhu? Who is following? Not following. Who can pass judgment? Who can pass? Only Popat can pass judgment. Kesav Goswami has passed judgment. Bhakti Rakka Siddhar Goswami has passed judgment. But those present foolish people, they are sitting in big, big chair, they have no right. Because they themselves can discover their situation. This way you can see, at present, if you can go to that side of river, they are speaking, we are following Mahaprabhu. Actually, Gauriyam are not following. Gauriyam are not at all following Mahaprabhu. We are following. Gauriyam are useless. Don't go to Gauriyam. You can lose everything. They have no parampara, no, no, you know, uh, saru. You know, they are not giving any saru, gopi saru, everything. So useless. They are. Don't go. You can lose everything. So they are speaking. So how you can detect who is following Mahaprabhu, who is not? That is why he told the utility of parampara. What is the scientific utility of parampara? Utility of parampara lying with the fact that we want to get the same teachings taught by Mahaprabhu. What? At the time of Mahaprabhu, what kind of teachings Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us? Same teachings, even, you know, same teachings you can get from Bhakti Minut Thakur and from no, no question of fighting. It's a scientific matter. We are getting the same teachings. Even maybe at the time of Mahaprabhu, we couldn't understand why Mahaprabhu was doing this. But under the guidance of Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we now is it now a little bit clear. Why Mahaprabhu doing this? Follow. More clear. So that is called the utility of parampara. So long as we are successful, so long as we are successful to maintain the purity of your sampradayik dara flow, till then. We can survive. After that, after that, what will happen? Like the situation at present? Whatever, what will happen? This is the situation. So, similar case, when those Sahaja Babajis, even in our own Sampradaya, out of 100%, if not more, 98% people, they have no idea about, about what Prabhupada wanted to say, what Bhakti Thakur wanted to say. I don't like to mention name. Even some Sahaja Acharya, they started fighting with Parambhaja Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, speaking all rubbish. How dare? Siddhar Goswami Maharaj just told one nice Siddhanta, is fighting. My Guru, they have told you, who are you? So many I can speak name of some Acharyas, but I don't like to mention them. It will create problem. I need to establish Siddhanta only, no fighting. I have no intention to fight with anyone. Only I like to establish Siddhanta if people can understand without you know, further explanation. If people can understand, I'm very happy. Like the case. Krishna Das Kovira Goswami is speaking. Like Krishna Das Kovira Goswami is speaking, you know, Jar Lagi Kohite Boy Shejodina Jane. We fear to speak about all secret Rasa Siddhanta. But if foolish people, if they cannot understand, then we are very happy. Krishna Das Kovira Goswami is speaking. We fear to speak all about the secret Siddhanta for all those Sahajiyas. Uh, anyway, by the desire of Nityananda, if they cannot understand the proper, uh, you know, conclusion, as we are safe. Jahar lagi koite boy sejodina jane. Then we are very happy. 
follow. So, in our own, own sampadaya, they fight, they started fighting with Sridhar Goswami Maharaj. Whereas Maharaj speaking nice Siddhanta, not, not ready. Because if I am going to follow Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, I cannot get a popularity all over the world. So, surely I cannot follow Sridhar Goswami Maharaj. Surely I cannot follow. Because I need Patishtha, no? Somehow, I need Patishtha. So, those who are going to establish Siddhanta from, from one, you know, big Gauriya martyrs, big Gauriya society, they establish the Siddhanta. We are not in Madhya Gauriya Sampradaya. They publish and distribute the book. First of all, that Maharaj requested me to edit the book because he is not Bengali man. He is Assamese. Some of his books I edited because I couldn't understand that he is, you know, finally going to engage me in this kind of... So, okay, some nice books. I, when I get the book, I was worried. I say, why you are uh, going to publish? Well, yes, we are not Madhusan. Maharaj, who told you? He is senior to me. That time he was almost 80 up. And I was that time, you know, 50, 52, 51. So how I can fight with him? I told you, Maharaj, could you please, you know, allow me to write one uh, Siddhanta Bichar that we are from Madhya Gauri Sampradaya and you can establish the negative. So let us publish. He agreed. Madam, you can make the book two part. One is those who are going to fight that we are Madhya Gauri Sampradaya and those who are not going to believe so both you can write that we are not Madhya Guru I can write by your mercy, by your Guru. I can write the positive thing. So he agreed. But when I go to Vrindavan, I come back and attend the Tirovaptiti of that, I mean, I found Acharya of that month. I find they are distributing one book. They also give me book. I open the book, I say, oh my God, you already published, violating me. Somebody giving idea. Somebody giving, uh, planning, oh, Sambhava useless, oh, you publish it, I am there, it's published. They have money, enough money, I have no money. So then and there, I touch the Samadhi Mandir of that Maharaj, founder of Jaya. I tell Maharaj, if I am your son, I am going to establish this Siddhanta very quickly, very shortly. Then I established and throw the book in front of that Maharaj, you read that book. Then up to now, he gone from this material world now. Five years over, he gone. But he couldn't answer. If, if so be the condition of our own society, what to speak? They are going to conclude where, when, because almost uh, in every mode you can find, they are going to recite Chaitanya Bhagavad. They understand on don't know. It's not a big issue. But the, anyway, they are going to recite Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Chaitanya. And they are going to explain this way, wrong way. So how we can expect from our future generation, if the foundation is already broken, what we can do? This way, that time, when our Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu when, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu was there, that time already, their Madhya Sampradaya, they are not going to follow Madhya Charya. They are, they are already deviated from the track. They are going to establish. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to point out, you, in your Sampradaya, we find two, two symptoms. Follow. We, in your sampada, you find two symptoms. What is that two symptoms? One is mukti, one is, uh, I forget this, two. So, Mahaprabhu say, maybe, maybe you are not going to discuss with me 
the vital Siddhanta Vichar of Gauriya. I mean, Vainu Siddhanta Vichar of Bhakti. Because you watch, I am Mayavadi. Mahaprabhu speaking. That you are watching me, Mayavadi. That's why I am sure that you are not going to speak me all the secret Siddhanta Vichar spoken by Madhvacharya. Siddhanta Vichar. Madhvacharya finally wanted to establish bhakti. I can give so many documents. Now, point is that up to now, we understand the situation of different society, they, that side, this side. They are going to speak all Ravi Siddhanta about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So for that reason, you cannot come into conclusion that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already told wrong. You can speak, no? You can speak, no? That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already told. That's why they are... Why they are speaking wrong Siddhanta? Sahajya Babaji is... Why Radha Kundas Babaji, Sahajya Babaji is speaking wrong Siddhanta? You can prove that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told. Never told, no? Similar case. Mahaprabhu never told this kind of Siddhanta. So Madhacharya never told this kind of Siddhanta. Follow. So they, by that time, some of those Acharyas, they already deviated from the main track. Karma, Gyan. I karma, Mukti, and this they are going to establish Siddhanta. Then Mahaprabhu started speaking about Vaishnava Siddhanta Vichar. Because Madhacharya is the topmost Vaishnava. We cannot expect anything wrong. Madhacharya is the Bayu avatar, is the avatar of Pavandev, I mean Hanumanji Maharaj. Also, sometimes we can say Madhacharya is the avatar of Bhimsen. You can both mix them because Bhimsen also Bayu avatar. Okay, same. Madhacharya can never speak wrong. It is our, you know, it is our fault that we are going to misunderstand Acharya. You see what to speak about Madha, what to speak about Madha Acharya, what to speak about, you know, Mahaprabhu. I am not going that far. Simply you think about Prabhupada. Simply you think about Bhakti Thakur. Who understand Bhakti Thakur? Who understand Prabhupada? If they at all understand why this situation we are, you know, getting this kind of situation. So anyway, in Bhagavatam also it is written. In Bhagavatam it is written, in course of parampara, some of them going to follow the right track, some of them getting there. Some of them, it is in Bhagavata, it is written. So, some of them following the same track, some of them deviated from. It is Bhagavatam, I can show you, 11th canto, you can open. Many times I discuss. Evam param parjena. You know. So, this is some deviated, some. So, it's quite natural. So some of them, most of them deviated from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or from Bhakti Mitra Prabhupada. You open books, different books, different available, I can show you Siddhanta, wrong Siddhanta. You bring from different important societies, you bring to, I can point out here, wrong Siddhanta. They're right, they're preaching it. We have no manpower, money power, we cannot. Only we can speak about that. This way, actually, total system breakdown now. So we have hundred percent connection with Madhvacharya. Madhvacharya is Bhayu avatar. I can give documents that Chatu son. I can speak so many things. Chatu son, even Ananta Dev. Chatu son, Ananta Dev. They personally came to hear Madha explanation. Madha explanation, I mean, of 
Bhagavad Gita. Ay Bhagavad Simad Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana. Chotushan personally and Anantadev came to hear all the explanation, I mean Tika of Simad Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana. With full patience, they are hearing. After hearing, Anantadev also, who is speaking Bhagavatam all the time. Anantadev always speaking about the glories of Bhagavad. But he himself coming to hear from Madhacharya. After hearing the commentary of Madhacharya, after explanation over, Jain Chotusan, Jain Chotusan asking to Chotusan asking to Anantadev, Jai Prabhu, now we like to hear the conclusion. I mean, what, what result one can get after hearing the commentary of Madhacharya. Try to understand. Very what benefit they can get after hearing Madhacharya commentary? Chatusan asking to Anantade. Anantade going to pass remark. Well, they can get bhakti eternal seva. Anantade speaking. Finally, when they are going to leave body, okay, they can get, you know, eternal seva, bhakti and eternal seva. Vishnu Angri Seva, it is written. But after that, some of them going to, you know, make some hodgepodge, khichuri, they are in confusion. It is true, it is true that Baldev Vidyabhushan was originally in Madhacharya. That no doubt, we are not speak, going to speak anything about that. But, Madh, but Baldev, Baldev Vidyabhushan was the topmost Siddhanta Vid. Topmost, so much intelligence, super fine. Follow. He was in Madhacharya. And he was the topmost, you know, Patra, pot. He was the topmost pot to catch the Siddhanta picture of Madhacharya. Try to understand. Because at that time, you cannot find anybody who is just parallel to him. Vishwanath Chakvati was, was there. But Vishwanath Chakvati was, you know, was Sikha Guru of, you know, Vishwanath Chakvati was elevated, okay. But that time he was very old. And also, Vedanta and everything, all, you know, Baldev Vidyabhushan was the topmost, you know, Patra, who could accept the exact Siddhanta Vichara of Madhacharya. Follow. Finally, something happened, okay. Something happened. In our Gauri Sampadaya, in the parampara of Samananda Prabhu, some Damodar, uh, I pandi some, not that Damodar, another in Parampara. He had some conversation with Madhacharya regarding Siddhanta Bhisha. And there was one condition, if I am going to be defeated by you, I can accept you as Guru. And if you are going to be defeated, then you can accept. And he told me, he told that if I am going to defeat, also I can accept you as Guru. So Damodar Prabhu was in line of Samananda Prabhu, a great Pandit. But this, you know, Baldev is talented. Nobody can defeat him. So conditioned. Finally, it was the arrangement of Gaurang Mahapu, this much we can say. Otherwise, to defeat Baldev Vidyabhushan, there was no single man in the whole India. How it is possible that due to the devotional power, bhakti power of Damodar, he was a tremendous bhakti power. And due to this kind of bhakti power, he was successful to establish all Sandarbha Visha, Sandarbha. Jiva Goswami Pai wrote Sandarbha, na? Sandarbha, six Sandarbha. On the basis of six Sandarbha, Damodar Pandit, he was successful to defeat him. Because, because Jiva Goswami Pai, six Sandarbha is the topmost. 
No father can reach up to that far. What kind of explanation, what kind of evidence, what kind of, you know, justification? So naturally, Baldev Vidyabhushan, after hearing this kind of javan, he was bound, in front of his devotional power, he was bound to submit. That is the reason for why we get, Bhakti Mithra speaking, that is, that is why we are going to get this masterpiece, jewel. Bhakti Mithra many times told, Baldev Vidyabhushan is the topmost jewel in our Gaudiya society. Bhakti Mithra told himself, so this way, we are going to get the exact Siddhanta Vichar of Madhvacharya from Baldev Vidyabhushan. That is the evidence. That, that is the evidence that Bhakti Thakur wanted to establish. Bhakti Thakur wanted to establish. All other, our Guru Bhargava, they wanted to establish all, same. They wanted to establish, it is the Siddhanta Vichar of Baldev Vidyabhushan regarding Madhacharya Siddhanta. So, we are not going to write anything. What he wrote before, that he wanted to show us. What he wrote before, what he understood from Madhacharya that he is going to say. We are not going to put pressure on him that he is going to change Siddhanta. What do you say? It's not such a foolish. It's going to say. So, Madhya Siddhanta, you know, Baldev Vidyabhushan writing in Prameo Ratnavali. One book, Prameo Ratnavali. There he is going to write all nice Siddhanta Vichya. And Bhakti Mnod Thakur wanted to establish there is no major difference, no major difference between Madhya Siddhanta and our. Gauriya Siddhanta, I mean the Bichar of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, represented in the form of synopsis, I mean gist, what Bhakti Vinod Thakur told. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, no? Amna yo praho tatyam harimi ho sarva saktim rasadim tad binnang shangsha jivano prakriti gavalitano tad bhimutang shabhavat bheda bheda sakala mopi harihe swadhanam suddha bhaktim. Eh? Sadhyam tat priti meva iti upadishati gaura chandu swayam swa. You can come, I can show you comparative statement. Bhakti Mita Thakur, what speaking? And what Baladev Guddhavashan is going to speak uh, the Madhya Siddhanta? No major difference. No major difference, nothing. All same. And one point I would like to say that it is only Madha Charjo. It is only, ma I know, I know, Srila Ramanujajya also was successful to break Mayava Siddhanta, destroy. I know, I can discuss tomorrow also. But Bhakti Nuttaka speaking, Ramanujajya also, Ramanujajya also was successful to destroy Mayava Siddhanta. Ramanujajya, I can show you one book, this, like Mahabharata. It's called, the name of the book is Parapaksha Giri Barjo. Bengali, Sanskrit, you cannot understand, I can mean you. Parapaksha Giri Barjo. What is the name of the book? This book. Parapaksha Giri Barjo. I mean, Giri Bajro. Mean, it means, to destroy the opponent party Mahabadi, this is one kind of thunderball. This is the meaning. It's called Thunderball. So its name of the book is Parapakha Giri Bajro. Like the Thunderball. Okay? But Bhakti Muta is going to speak. The, well, Ramanacharya is also going to break. But, the, but Madhacharya is going to break Mayabhasi in a more prominent way. Ramanacharya is breaking all. But Bhakti Muta is speaking. The speciality of Madhacharya is there. Madhacharya is going to destroy Mayabha Siddha in the more prominent way. Bhakti Thakur, I can show you Bhakti Thakur speaking. So, 
and major thing that in Madhya Sampradaya, the strong believe in Vigraha, Vigraha Seva. So many points I would like to discuss, you know. Now point can come. Who is the actually Guru of Madhacharya? Who is the Guru of Madhacharya Prabhu? Because in our Leela, we can see Madhacharya took birth. I don't like to go back, I have no time. Madhacharya took birth in South India, Paja Khetra. Paja, Paja Khetra, one place there. He took birth. Uh, the Tithi of Dashami, Durga Dashami, you know, Durga Puja, end day, end day, when Ramchandra is going to invade Lanka, that, the, that day, Matacharya took birth, Father Narayan Bhatta, Ma Bedbati. I am not going to speak anything about it, no time. Matacharya, while growing up, it is abnormal because it is not possible. Not possible. This kind of, you know, boy is impossible because when within uh, eight or ten years he completes all education, everything. He is playing whole day. And the teacher, Acharya, become very angry. Hey! You are playing whole day, not reading anything. He is folding at Gurudev. Acharya, you are giving me this much reading, I mean, tax. So it takes very, a few, a very few time, and a few. Eh? So, rest of the time, I'm, what do you mean? You are giving me, you are giving us so small tax. So, how long time, how much time it takes? So, I complete. Eh? You complete? You speak? He started speaking. All previous verses of Veda, everything started. Reciting, huh? Narayaniyam. Narayaniyam, one part. Upanishad. Only after hearing from Acharya, only after hearing a Guru, Acharya speaking is hearing. After that he is reciting all. Acharya gone mad, how possible? Only just I am speaking. He hearing and remember everything is going to intact. And the pronunciation, Pronunciation you cannot imagine. Pronunciation, oh, so nice. This way, he was uh, gradually growing up. And in small boyhood, he was doing so much Leela, but we have no time, we can discuss after. Abhir Bhaktiti, we can speak. One day, Madhacharya speaking, I can establish by Shnap Siddhanta, I can break Mayabad in front of father. In front of father, his name was Basudev. His previous name was Basudev. So he's speaking, Basudev speaking to father. Father, I can establish uh, by Shnap Siddhanta, break all Mayabad. Father say, well, you can break Mayabad, okay? If you are successful to make this dry Dry tree, dry branches of tree. If we can make this, you know, make this tree full flayed, you know. If it is possible that a dry tree, dry tree, you know, part of a tree in your hand, if this tree can become a full flayed tree and flower and everything, then I can believe. Mother is like, okay. Then Mother is going to take the part of the one branches of the tree, broken, is going to put in the mud. And immediately the tree started growing out of that big tree. The father speaking, well, it is possible for you. Nothing impossible for you. So you can do. The father don't know he is a Bayu Avatar. <laughs> he, father have no idea. Actually, Bhatsala, na? Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hey, I can beat you, you are not ready. He is Bhagavan. But Bhatsala, na? Affection. So, he started, you know, growing up. After that, oh, he started big preaching. Mayavad Bicha, he started. That time, Mayavad field was so strong, if you do anything, they can kill you. 
what to speak about defeat they can take you and kill you and throw they can kill you throw <laughs> follow so madhacharya was successful they wanted to they wanted to take away all the writings of madhacharya they wanted to abduct taken away to throw into ocean but finally madhacharya was successful to get the clue where and gone with all and then finally was this you know could deliver all his writings otherwise they wanted to destroy all his writings many mayavadi acharyas they came to fight with madhacharya nobody could stand in front of madhacharya nobody they came to fight with madhacharya they came to fight with madhacharya finally achyuta preksha was a very important personality in south india i am going to cut short I'm going to speak the only vital part but time cannot come achyuta preksha was a very important personality so madhacharya wanted to take sanyas from him he was a very important personality achyuta preksha powerful he took sanyas ananteshwar temple ananteshwar there he took sanyas from achyuta preksha when achyuta preksha wanted to recite one book written by him achyuta preksha wanted to teach something new when i reading by him to madhacharya but while reciting in the first shloka in the first shloka madhacharya going to point out 32 different kind of defects 32 in one shloka in one shloka 32 different kind of defects going to point out uchito vikram 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 very angry how tell us me gurudev you see there is defect then he started he started reciting the same you know book written by achyuta vikra but in favor of bhakti siddhant same book he wanted to rectify verbally not writing what gurudev told i mean he started uh, quoting and all slog he wanted to uh, you know give a nice fine touch and make it in favor of bhakti siddhant then achyuta vikra become very happy are you are explaining the book in a positive way very nice then achyuta vikra achyuta preksha are finally bound to confess that his knowledge is more than me he was gurudev was bound to speak ha ah, follow so basudev his nom was changed basudev is nom was changed uh, madhacharya madhu acharya madhu mean you know hani like in beda or your kirtan you can find adaram maduram badanam maduram madhura dipate akhilam madhura madhu actually mean beda you can say the teachings of beda madhu madhu and madhu directly can qualify to krishna because drop by drop or honey coming from the lotus feet of krishna nectar that's why the name of krishna is madhu name of krishna one name is madhu follow so madhacharya name was madhu achay madhacharya after that so many name he got so many name madhu uh, he got the name you know uh, Ananda Tirth, his name was Ananda Tirth. Achyuta Bhakta himself, Achyuta Bhakta himself, Acharya, going to make a vishek a Madhva Acharya with Sankha, you know, Sankha, Ganga water, Kaveri water, and uh, all milk, going to a vishek to make him Acharya. I mean, you know, declare that he is the authentic Acharya, Achyuta Preksha. achyuta prakrab so many thing you know finally what happens so many acharyas coming to fight achyuta bikar sitting 
or Chitapika sitting, big, big Pandit coming and they are having discussion over Bhagavad Siddhanta. Then finally, Ochitapika was speaking, Ochitapika speaking, that what Madha speaking is all the Siddhanta of Vyasadeva. Ochitapika is a neutral man, they are fighting with Isha, they are discussing. But Ochitapika was bound to speak. All the Siddhanta Bhupar established by is Ananda Tirtha. Is actually all the Siddhanta approved by Vyasadeva. Finally, what happens? Madhacharya went to Vyasadeva. I also went, many times. He's going and mine going, they <laughs> make difference. I went to recite Bhagavat there in the Gufa, I mean, where Vyasadeva uh, wrote uh, Bhagavatam there at the bank of Saraswati. I went there. So, Madhacharya went there. Up to Bodhinaran. Bodhinaran, there, there is Noro Narayan, two hills, Himalayan. It's Noro, it's Narayan. And another two opposite, Joy Vijay. Two hills, Joy Vijay. And between, I know, this is uh, Alakananda going on. Big force. So finally, Finally, what happens? Naranarayan was also, you know, Naranarayan was also very happy to give darshan to Madhacharya. Naranarayan uh, wanted to ask uh, Madhacharya. You can explain the, you know, uh, explain. You can explain all about the all Gita, Bhagavad Gita. Naranarayan wanted to hear from Madhacharya. Hey, yeah, I like to hear, hear commentary from you. Okay, yeah, very happy. Madhya went on speaking. Finally, he took decision to go to West Gufa to meet with Vasudev. Vasudev waiting for Madhya to come. Vasudev was there. So finally, all disciples wanted to follow. No, don't come with me. No. All disciples, they like to follow Gurudev. No, you cannot go. Go back. Alone, Madhya Chaja going, doing different kind of astuities and penances. Then Madhya, you uh, know, Vyasadeva coming out. Deep blue color. Oh, coming out. And Madhya Chaja paying pressure down the world. He's catching Madhya Chaja and embrace him. Sit. Going to express all inner meaning, all different Siddhanta. Vyasadeva speaking. After that blessing, you can... Make some commentary on Mahabharat. Can you know? Yes. Your, your, your blessing you can write. Vasudev is going to bless him. You can write the commentary of, you know, this. Mahabharat. So commentary of Mahabharat, commentary of Upanishad, commentary of Bhagavatam, Follow commentary of Vishnu Sahasranam. Vishnu Sahasranam commentary he wrote hundred times. He can go my hundred commentaries. Hundred commentaries, you know. Hundred times. On one one sloka from Veda, he started explaining in such a sarcastic way all Pandit Gun band. One one word. Basing on grammar, Sanskrit grammar. He started explaining in such a way that all Pandit, they have gone mad. It's not possible. It's impossible. <laughs> How possible for you? So successful. So, Achyuta Bekho, in front of Achyuta Bekho, Oitariya Upanishad, in front of Achyuta Bekho, Madhya one day started explaining one Upanishad. Commentary, commentary, total. Ochitopeko was very happy. Ochitopeko, you know, asking, if you have a clear idea about all the Siddhanta Vishar of Vyasadeva, if you understand the heart of Vyasadeva, why not you write the commentary of, uh, of uh, you know, Vedanta? Uh, yes, I can write. 
Yes, I can write. You order me. Yes. Then he started writing commentary on, on Vedanta. So, Madhacharya writing Vedanta, commentary on Vedanta. Ramanushaji also writing commentary on Vedanta. Follow? All four Sampadaya, Nimbarka and Vishnu Sami, they all writing. And except that, all other I can speak, they are also writing Vedanta. They are also writing. Sankaracharya writing Vedanta commentary. Sankaracharya writing. Bhaskaracharya writing. So many writing. Vedanta Bhasya. Finally, Madhacharya Siddhanta was so nice. Very nice. Madhacharya Siddhanta was just, just appropriate. Appropriate means, I mean, the, in line with Vyasadeva. <coughs> All the commentary written by Madhacharya is just in line with Vyasadeva. What is the. So, what do you mean by Vyasadeva? That is the first question. We want to hear what do you mean by Vyasadeva? Vyasadeva wanted to establish Shuddha Daitavad. Shuddha Daitavad. Vyasadeva wanted to write Achinta Vedavat Tattva. And that Shuddha Daitavad. Try to understand. Not, not yes. Try to understand. Shuddha Daitavad. Shuddha means pure. Daitavad means dualism. Daitavad, no? Shuddha means pure dualism. Madhacharya wanted to. But I can show you so many writings of Madhacharya. Where Madhacharya time to time, where Madhacharya time to time wanted to establish Achinta Vedavet Tattva, Vedavet Tattva, Vedavet Tattva wanted to speak. Many times I can show you the writing. I have so many writings. Where you can see Madhacharya speaking Shuddha Daitabad. Now we will have to understand. So, Madhacharya, why going to write Shuddha Daitabad? What do you mean by Shuddha Daitabad? Because Daitabad, Daitabad is, you know, Shuddha Daitabad. Eh? Shuddha Daitabad. And Mayavadi, they wanted to establish Shuddha Daitabad. Monism. Wanted to establish. So, now, Madhacharya, what wanted to speak? That is the main thing. Shuddha means pure, pure dualism, and the slok first I started, what I said, Badanti tat tat tabidam stat tab jad jnanam adhyam. Try to understand. The first slok I started with, what I told, Badanti tat 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 tabidam stat tab jad jnanam adhyam. Adhyam. Vadanti tat tat tabidam stattam jad jnanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti sabdati. Follow. Vadanti tat tat tabidam stattam jad adhyam. Vadanti tat tat tabidam stattam jad jnanam adhyam. Adhyay. Adhyay again. But most of the people, they have no idea that it is true. Infinity universe, infinity universe. Wherever you go, even in Prakriti Jagat, there is one Siddhanta. One. There is one Siddhanta. That is, that is, what is that? Krishna. It is true. But that doesn't mean Bhagavad wanted to speak. Badanti tat tat vidam sattam yad jnanam adhyam. Adhyay mane? No dualism. But that doesn't mean Bhagavad wanted to establish monism. Follow. Apparently it seems that Badanti tat tattvidam sattam yad jnanam adhyam. So Bhagavad is going to speak adhyay jnan tattva. Shankarajaj, what wrong? Is right? No. Bhagavad ji Mahaparan speaking adhyay jnan tattva. Okay. Adhyay jnan tattva. But that adhyay jnan tattva is related with our Achinta Vedavat Tattva. 
Adhyayagana Tattva doesn't mean there is one Tattva and we cannot obey Shakti like Mayavadi. Mayavadi is speaking, there is one Tattva. So we are not going to obey another Tattva Shakti. Because if you are going to at all obey Shakti Tattva, that dualism can. No, 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 no. But as per Bhagavatam, what is written, that common people cannot understand. Mayavadi cannot understand. Bhagavad speaking Adhyayagana Tattva. But that Adhyayagana but that Adhyayagana Tattva is full of diversity. It's full of diversity, na? Unity and diversity, diversity and unity. But that Mayabadi is going to make the blunder mistake. They don't understand. Bhagavad speaking Adhyayagana Tattva. But that is absolute Adhyayagana Tattva. Bhagavad speaking Adhyayagana Tattva. But that is absolute Adhyayagana Tattva. There is no contamination like Mayabadi. I mean, as per Bhagavatam, Adhyayagan Tattva, we can find everything related with Bhagavan, all. Achinta Veda Ved. At the same time, you know, Ved and Aved. Simultaneously different and non different. This is the basic Tattva Bhagavatam. But Mayavadi is going to speak all rubbish Adhyayagan Tattva. But our Bhagavad speaking, really, absolute of the really so. Except Bhagavan who is there. But that doesn't mean the Bhagavad is going to and ignore ignore Achinta Vedavata. Finally, wherever you go, Bhagavatam, any chapter you can go. I can show you that there Achinta Vedavata. Relationship with Bhagavan. All infinity world, all jiva, all creation, everything, whatever you have, all related with Bhagavan eh? on the basis of Achinta Vedavat Tattva. Watch what Mahaprabhu wanted to show us. It was already there. Not that Mahaprabhu wanted to, Mahaprabhu only wanted to show us. But uh, this is, you know, Achinta Veda is already, already there. Already there. Shakti, Shakti, Mato. Even Vasudev Goswami already told. Vasudev Goswami told, na? In different sutra of, different sutra in Vedanta, it is written. Many sutra. Many sutra, I can show you. Tattu, Shaman, Nayat. This sloka also. After that, Shakti, Shakti, Mato, Aved. All sutra I can show you, all Achinta Vedavat Tattva. So Bhagavad speaking absolute Adhyayagana Tattva, but that going to show us it is related with all object with Achinta Vedavat Tattva. But Mayavadi not. So same thing, Madhacharya on the basis of the Siddhanta Vichar of Vyasadeva wanted to speak. Vyasadeva not speaking wrong. Vyasadeva speaking Shuddha Dvaitavad. Shuddha means pure, pure means not like Mayavadi. Not like Mayavadi, not like anybody. Shuddha means pure, Dvaitavad. I mean, Krishna is eternally present, all objects are there, simultaneously. Finally, in one, I can show you different writing I have, where Madhya is going to confess Vedavet Tattva. Hello. There you can see, Mother Jaju wanted to say that prominent difference is also there, though everything simultaneously different and non different, not directly speaking, but anywhere non different, coming from, I can show you Madhya Siddhanta, everything coming from Bhagavan. What do you mean by everything coming from Bhagavan? Everything coming from Bhagavan means Bhagavan and those objects are eh, related. Na? So, Bhagavan and Jeev. Try to count. Bhagavan and Jeev. Bhagavan and Jeev. Different. Madhya is speaking. Jeev and Bhagavan always different. Right? Yes, per our Bhagavad Siddhanta. All countless Jeevas, all countless you, me, everything, all what? Infinity Jeevas, they are eternally present. Only they are going up and down. Same thing. Mataji is speaking, Bhagavan and Jeev, there is difference. Okay? Jeev and Jeev, one Jeev with other difference. Eh? 
जीव एंड जड़ मैटर डिफरेंस मैटर एंड मैटर डिफरेंस मैटर एंड भगवान डिफरेंस यू काउंट फाइव फाइव यू कैन काउंट तो फाइव प्रोमिनेंट डिफरेंस मस्ट भी दिया माता जज यू टोल्ड इज राइट हु कैन ब्रेक दिस सिद्धांत हु कैन ब्रेक नो बॉडी कैन ब्रेक माता जज यू राइट ईश्वर एंड जीव देर इज डिफरेंस जीव एंड जीव विथ ईश्वर द डिफरेंस देर सांस का डिफरेंस डिफरेंस जीव एंड जड़ा मैटर एंड जीव डिफरेंस मैटर एंड मैटर ऑल डिफरेंस every matter have some speciality what is called the property of matter all matter of different so matter 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 and bhagwan so five prominent difference so five prominent difference five prominent dever mother ji ji told five to prominent must be there no father can break so five prominent five prominent difference follow and we like to discuss so many things from different angles but time cannot permit madhacharya writing uh what is krishna uh krishna uh one book one book krishna writing uh, madhacharya writing the glories of krishna glories of krishna when one day madhacharya was so powerful that sometime people cannot believe who is he in one place madhacharya was given 4000 banana big big banana and almost 40 uh, pitcher of milk 40 or 34 or Uh, 35 mother jo jo taking all 4000 banana at a time and milk expressing some aisharya that i am by your avatar he took everything <laughs> everything go how possible 4000 banana big big banana ripe banana taking and taking to finish bas follow one day mother jaju was doing bhajan in one place in course of his being he was taking rest under a tree and at the bank of a ocean but one businessman he already done business he already sell all his items uh, in uh, some place in gujarat finally thought uh, why should i go uh, vacant hey, i can take something from here so he took all gopi chandan you know gopi chandan we are doing till big big gopi chandan there with you know so many powerful man he load in the in the and some other things also hello he is uh, now the ship going not big ship and the ship somehow stuck up in one place stuck up in a sand or somehow ship not moving he was in problem he all around water where we can go no boat visible how we can go the man was business man big tension he could discover from distance there was a very powerful sadhu from distance he is crying as this condition you see my ship stuck up you please help me i mean i'm going to die mother chacho watching at him he is crying and speaking please help me this condition mother jo going to show some some mudra nothing doing mother jo sitting and showing some mudra special man a finger indication and the ship started floating <laughs> then the man was very happy i wanted to give you i don't need any i like to give you any something you want what do you have i have a big gopi chandan i can give you well i can give big gopi chandan big gopi chandan krishna mrito uh, krishna mrito maharnavam like this kind of book he wrote 
how root i am now coming he was given one big piece of chandan gopi chandan hello and mata ji was taking one hand one hand taking in one hand taking hello in one hand taking the gopi chandan in hand and moving in the meantime when is moving in the meantime the gopi chandan cracked down he immediately placed in down he said no from their gopi chandan their gopal murti coming gopal i mean jashodama i know going to bind gopal ha ah, and gopal fear this gopal murti very nice murti coming from this gopi chandan mata chaju was start i am going to catch it in lap and kissing now moving towards his place and in between in course of his journey after getting gopal he is writing one stotra big stotra one book small krishna maharnava stotra follow those who are fighting those who are fighting against us that madajaja used to worship vishnu uh, vishnu angri it is written i can show you vishnu angri they are worship are angri in bhagavad ji mahapuran rasa leela if sukhdev goswami writing vishnu then it doesn't mean that rasa leela done by vishnu written na bhagavata ras panchadhyay last shlok vikriritam bajavad viridan cha vishnu why first question can come if you are intelligent why vishnu but anyway vishnu not going to uh, you know do ras strictly prohibited ki only krishna even at the time of you know rasa leela all avatar are staying in in krishna they go out at the time of rasa leela they cannot stay only krishna can stay so then how it is written in vishnu विक्रीतम बजबद भीरदन च विष्णु श्रद्धान्यतम मनो श्रीनवाद अथ वर्ण यज्ञ वाय विष्णु हियर मीन्स कृष्णा ओनली टू स्टॉप युअर स्पेकुलेशन ओनली टू स्टॉप युअर आर्ग्युमेंट बैस सुखदेव गोस्वामी वॉन्टेड टू से कमॉन हि इज विष्णु व्यापक यूनिवर्सल व्यापक हि इज ओमनी प्रेजेंट विष्णु that's why i wanted to speak vishnu otherwise this vishnu is krishna vishnu is there eh vishnu has separate but when we are going to a raslila sukhdev goswami is speaking vishnu that surely means that sukhdev goswami wanted to make us understand this is not a matter of joke is krishna vyapak vishnu vyapak all सर्वभूतेषु विशति एवरी वेर नॉट एवरी वेर वेर नॉट वेर नॉट कृष्ण सिटिंग एवरी वेर ना गोपीना तत्पचीना च गोपीना तत्पतीना चर्वेशम एव देहीना जो अंत साध्यक्ष किरण नई अदेह वाक् सुखदेव गोस्वाई वॉन्टेड टू गिव एंसर टू परीक्षित परीक्षित महाराज वाई यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस डाउट inside the heart of gopi inside the heart of husband of all gopi all krishna staying so if krishna going to take personal form to play with him what wrong because krishna is the universal husband no contamination if krishna is going to no contamination krishna is everywhere where not krishna even inside the heart of you know husband of all gopi because krishna is there so what kind of contamination you mean so this way vishnu word so madacharya speaking okay but madacharya directly worshiping krishna tattva that's why mahaprabhu was so happy because throughout south india could not find krishna krishna tattva all vishnu narayan ram all baraha nishinga only when find krishna playing small boy oh, ma ma mahaprabhu was very happy dancing Ah, so follow. Also, I heard Madhacharya used to worship 
Ram Murti. With Dasaraji Maharaj in Teta Juk. Dasaraji Maharaj at Teta Juk used to worship that Ramchandra before Ramchandra appeared. And that deity is there with Madhya Chaju. It's also possible because why not? Bayu Avatar in the form of Hanumanji Maharaj, he was worshipping Ram. Bayu Avatar in the form of Hibhemji Maharaj, he can worship Krishna Chandra. No problem it. Both deities. Everybody don't know. Follow this way. So, Mataji wrote, I can show you the what uh, writing about Krishna. Oh, so nice writing. Then you can understand the heart of Mataji. No need of fighting, na? If they are going to misinterpret, if they are going to misguide us, the mother judge, oh, he wanted to establish mukti. I already told in the starting, na? Only starting, Chatusan and Anantadev, both of them started hearing Bhagavad commentary from Madhya Chaju. And finally, when Chatusan asking, what is the ultimate result of hearing this? Well, okay, it's Mukti, I mean, Vishnu Angri Seva. Mukti mean? As per Gauri Siddhanta, what do you mean by Mukti? Mukti Hitva Annatha Rupam Sarupena Vavasthiti is Mukti. Mukti means, actual meaning of Mukti means, the actual scientific, actual scientific meaning of Mukti means to get the eternal Seva. Because that kind of Mukti we don't like to get. But we can do. Seva, we need Seva. So, this way, Anantadev speaking, who am I, who are you, to pass remark. So, you can go to Krishna Maharnava, this book, you can find each and every step nectar coming down. I can show you many writing of Madhya Charya. Many writing. I can show you there he is going to glorify Krishna, love Krishna. Hello. Only Madhya Charya wanted to maintain some restriction set by Bhagavan. So regarding Raspanchadai, Madhya Charya wanted to no, because anyway the reason for why he is coming, he has to do it. That's why he wanted to avoid that. And this kind of advantage all other people, they are taking. And other judges are not writing. Only for this. But they don't understand. Ramanujajog appear here. Ramanujajog Ramanuj Ramanuj coming here. For some specific reason. Matachaja coming here for some specific reason. Shankarajaja coming from specific reason. They are deputed by Bhagavan for some specific purpose. Up to that limit they can do. Otherwise, why Bindavan Das Chakra speaking? Otherwise, why Bindavan Das Chakra Master speaking? Uh, up to that far I am writing and in future somebody can. Why? You cannot write. You are, you are Basadeva or Gauranga Leela. You are Basadeva or Gauranga Leela. Whereas, Basa, whereas Bindavan Das Chakra Mahasa writing, you can show, I can show you. Bindavan Das Chakra Mahasa writing, I am writing up to that far. Some, somebody can appear, right? I mean, up to that limit is good. So, finally what happens? Krishna Das Kaviraj Dushan appear. Kasturi Manjari. You know, and going to Piyanarma Sakhi, Kasturiya Manjari, and going to explain Chaitanya Chiritamita. As per the order of all Vaishnavas, and finally the order came through Madan Mohan. All Vaishnavas, you can write actually. How I can write? You can write. So, Kishnadas Kaviriyas started collecting all documents from Sarv Gushai, Raghunath Das Gosai, all. And after they started writing, and all Vaishnavas giving, uh, requesting him, finally, well, well I am I'm so much aged, how I can, 90 almost, how I can write? Okay, let us go to Madan Mohan to, to get the order. Then Pujari setting one mala to Madan Mohan, and Madan Mohan going to throw the mala. 
and all shouting, Jai Ho, Jai Ho, Madan Mohan. They are going to take the mala and give to Krishna Das Kubira. That is the order of Madan Mohan. Same thing, when the Jagannath mala fall down from the neck to on the body of Prabhupada, on the body of Prabhupada, Prabhupada was unique Acharya Siv. Unique Acharya, these Acharya are not possible. Mataja Jo came, Vishnu Sam, all they came, okay. They are all very great. But the Acharya Sweep of Prabhupada has some speciality. Mataja Jo has some speciality, okay. But because Mataja Jo is not Radharani gone, Mataja Jo is Bhai Vabhata. But Prabhupada is coming from Radharani. So naturally, some speciality. Prabhupada coming from Radharani, na? Nayan Mani Manjuri. So from Radharani he debuted. If coming from Krishna, still it is not so important. If coming from Radharani is more important. <laughs> right or not? This is Siddhanta. If somebody coming from Krishna, if somebody in you know, a deputy by Radharani, more important. Because Radharani, na? Krishna is a Seva Vigraha. What Krishna can know? How to serve? How what Radharani can know? So it's more. So Prabhupada has some speciality. Very, very excellent speciality, which we never got from any Acharya in this creation of human history. I can put challenge, you can see. The kind of Siddhanta, writing, speaking, or this kind of thing, as if Radharani coming and speaking directly. What, Radha, what Prabhupada used to say, as if Radharani sitting there and speaking. Follow. This way, Madhacharya was successful to break all destroy of Mayava Siddhanta Bisha, everything totally. Same what uh, you know Bhaktimir Thakur wrote. Bhaktimir Thakur wrote the same Siddhanta on the basis of Promeo Ratnavali or written by Baldev Vidyavasan. Same thing what Baldev Vidyavasan. What, what Baladev Vidyabhasan wrote in his Pramaya Ratnavili about the Siddhanta Bija Madhacharya, you can find almost all the same. Follow. Same, same Siddhanta. No? Amna yo praho tattam madhacharya. Amna is a praho tattam. Tatta is one and single that is coming from Veda. All. Okay. Amna yo praho tattam harimi ho sarva sakti rasadim. Mataja Jovaldo. Follow. Hari is full of all Shakti. Okay. Mataja is not going to break this Siddhanta. Mataja wanted to say, Veda, Veda, Pakasam, you know, this. You know, what? You know, Amnaya Prahatattam, Hari Miho, Sarva Sakti Rasadhin is a full of Rasa, Bhagavan, Bhagavat Tattva. So, Amnaya Prahatattam Harimiyo Sarvasaktim Rasad. Tad binnangsha angsha jivana prakriti kabalitano. All jivas, they can be under the influence of Maya and they can, out, they can go out of Maya by the power of Chit Shakti and Sarv Shakti. It's also so. Jiva is a bended condition. When they are going to follow Guru Vishnu, they can go out of Maya. So, what's wrong in it? Tat binnang shang shajivana prakriti kabalitana. They are now at present under the confluence of Maya, but they are supposed to go out. Tat binnang shang shajivana prakriti kabalitana. Tat bimuktang shubhavat. They can also bimukto, totally can cut Maya, go out. Veda veda sakalam mafi. Matachaju also, veda veda. Only Mahaprabhu wanted to add, which was already there. Only Mahaprabhu could, every, Mahaprabhu wanted to pick up this word, Achinto. Veda Veda was also there. Veda Veda was also there. And Achinto, this word is also written by Vyasadeva in Bhagavatam, somewhere. So only Mahaprabhu wanted to show. And this only word, Achinto Veda Veda, could harmonize the whole four Sampradaya. All different, different shortcomings. I mean, not complete, incomplete. And they all the final touch given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Achinta Veda Veda. That's all problems are. When they are all going to confess Achinta Veda Veda, 
then all their different stream, Madhya Charjo, Ramana Charjo, Vishnu Swami, Nimba, all harmonize. Only you will have to, you know, believe this Achinta Veda This is the final. So Madhya Charjo, we, we Madhya Gauri Shampradaya, Bhakti Muntaka speaking, Bhakti Muntaka speaking, we are Madhya Gauriya Sampradaya. We are very much in line with Madhacharya. Who not? Everybody. Jiva Goswami, Padra, Madha, is Jiva Goswami, I can see, I can show you. He writing. Jiva Goswami, Padra, going to pray Madhacharya. Jiva Goswami, Padra, writing. On the basis of the, you know, of the Siddhanta Vichar, Kripa, Abhridda Vaishnavai. Vidya Vaishnava, who is Vidya Vaishnava? Madhya Charju. On the basis of them, I am somehow going to uh, compile some Siddhanta. I mean, Sato Sandarbha. Before writing Sato Sandarbha, before writing Sato Sandarbha, Jiva Goswami writing this way. On the basis of our previous Acharya, Madhya Charju, I am going to get their Kipa and going to write. In, in the very beginning of writing all Sandarbha, I am going to write. So how you can say we have no connection with Mata Charja? Bhakti Murtaka speaking, those who are going to get entry into Gauriya Sampradaya and not going to obey, not going to believe that we are we have connection with Mata Charja, they are all criminal. They are all enemy of Gauriya Sampradaya. They are all enemy of Gauriya Sampradaya. We like to, well, who can throw? Now everybody. Who can throw whom? Situation is so complicated. If you like to protect your bhajan, be careful. Don't run like mad. Don't run. Harikatha is more important than running. That time, that day, I was chiding him. You foolish. You purposely coming after Harikatha. So that you need not translate. I know your mood. I know your, you cannot hide. I know your mood. You don't like to translate. So everybody can get benefit. So I like to come. Just Harikatha finishes. I chide him. Maybe he can leave me. Okay, no problem. I don't care. Follow this way, Madhacharya, our Sampradaya, and our, you know, this uh, Madhavendra Puri, Isharpadya, all have connection with Madhacharya. So, Madhavendra Puri path is the pillar, foundation pillar, pillar of Gauriya Bhajan. Hope are told, Madhacharya is a pillar. So, if Madhacharya is having connection. And what Pope wrote, Krishna is a Chaturmukha, Krishna is a Sevanmukha, Bamaito, Narodhara Mati, they are also, Pope is going to show the connection, our connection. Mantra Parampara and Bhagavad Parampara reconcile. And Krishna is a Chaturmukha, Krishna is a Sevanmukha, Bamaito, Narodhara Mati, Narodhara Hoite Bhas, Madhukhaya Bhasadas. Purna Bhagva, Padhanaga. Purna Pogo is another name. Ochuta Prekho, and so many names I say you. What all, what, what, what all name I say? Madha Charjo. Ochuta Prekho, eh, no, no, Ochuta Prekho. His name is, you know, Ananda Tirtho. Ananda Tirtho Nama Sukhabaya Dama Jatir Jiyat. Ananda Tirtho Nama Sukhabaya Dama. Jatir Jiyat. You know, who wrote? Baldev Vidyavashin. We do glorify Madha Chacha. Without Madha Chacha, we are blind. So nice. All. So many writings, you know. You cannot understand. No, this way, up to last day, up to last day, Madha Chacha wanted to fight with Mayavad. Madhacharya almost wanted to eradicate the foundation of Mayavad and to throw. Madhacharya was so powerful, wanted to eradicate the foundation. You don't know, Shankaracharya, as per their, if any Shankaracharya man is there, in, I mean for Mayavad group, follow, I can make full of him. I can make full, very easily, one point only. You say, Madhacharya took birth again. 
Mother, as per their Siddhanta, as per their Siddhanta, I am not Siddhanta, their Siddhanta, Mother Jajo left body, left body, again two birds. Mother Jajo, I am Mother Jajo, sorry, Sankara Jajo, I am speaking, sorry. Sankara Jajo, left body, again two birds, they are speaking. I say, then you are liar. You are liar, no? You say, Hey, you are going to get Brahma in Fajr. Then Shankaraja, if going to submerge with Brahma, where from can come? So you are liar. Only one point. We need not go further. You say that after Siddha, you can leave your body and submerge in Brahma, attain Brahma. So where from your Acharya again coming? Then you are liar. You are liar, no? You say that Shankaraja again took birth. And Mother Jaju also at the time of, because Sankara Chajo is uh, almost 800, you know, 800, you know, now, now, now actually uh, 1200 years back, almost or more. Follow, more. Mother Jaju later, okay. But at the time of Mother Chajo, one Sankara Chajo, I mean, they, they demand that Sankaraja again took birth in Keral. Both both Sankaraja took birth in Keral. And with him, Madhacharya, he wanted to defeat Madhacharya. He wanted to defeat Madhacharya. But Madhacharya was successful. Even in Varanasi, even in Varanasi, Manik Manikarnika Ghat, where Mahaprabhu wanted to teach, uh, no. Sanatana Gosai, there. There also. Big fighting going on. Mayavadi, Acharyas, and Madhacharya. Finally, what happens? Big fighting, hours after hour. Nobody can. Do. Finally, in the sky, Basadev Goswami appeared. Don't fight. Don't fight. He is successful. He is actually right. Madhacharya. Don't fight. Because altercation, fighting is no solution. Madhajaja appeared in the sky and say, he is, he is right. Madha is right. Ananda Tirtha is right, Siddhanta. So then the Sava was dissolved. Because Vyasadeva Goswami himself appeared. Who can speak more than Vyasadeva? Who is the compiler of all Shastra, you know? They stop fighting. Madhya was successful. This way, all the way, different writing you can bring, I can show you. All the bichar of Madhacharya, if not distorted by anybody. If this, what to do then? Now at present, everybody going to distort the writing of Popa. I can show you. They are going to distort, you know, distortion of the Siddhanta bichar of Rupa Goswami Swanathana. You can, I can show you directly. I don't like to fight with anybody. But this is the situation. Now people are in great confusion, whom to follow, how to follow. This is a great one. They cannot allow. Don't go there. Ah, use useless, a fallen soul. They cannot allow. All big, big Asha, they don't allow to come to me. Don't go there. Just pay. Openly speaking, don't go there. This is a good I am safe. I am very... So this way, we like to get the Kipa of Sila Madhacharya. So many things I like to speak about Madhacharya. So we will have to wait for Avir Bhaktiti to come. Next, then uh, if you are there, we can. So, Badanti tat tat tabidam sattam yad jnanam antayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti shabdati vancha kalpaturvasya ki basindu bhavasya patitanam pavana bhavasnabhyo. Jai Sila Madhacharya ji ki jai ho. Jai Ho. So powerful, Vapriva, Madhacharya. Oh, who is Madhacharya? Vapriva.